haul out time and I'm Girls really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 15 to 20 knots of wind pushing me, which makes me all so nervous. And it's just, you know, I've been out at sea for just too freaking long, not in these little tight spaces. And so I feel really out of practice and I'm going into a concrete area and that makes me nervous. Too. Anyway, nerves, that's what I got. Like it's the first day of school or something. And <clears throat> anyway, here we go. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, the driving force behind our thirst for exploration and discovery, literally and philosophically. And well, we've been pushing our curiosity pretty hard over the past several years. So now we've got some serious TLC to do. Okay, here we go. Anticlimactic. Yeah, I, I'll take it. They're so yes. good. <laughs> no, they were fantastic actually. They were like right on and had the lines. They're like, yeah, you can turn the edges off. We got it from here. I'm like, wow, okay, that was, that feels way too easy. <laughs> so it's not over yet when we're like on stands and everything's good. It's all good, but so far. We've only hauled our boat out of the water a handful of times. And it's always been by a self-propelled sling or a tractor and trailer, but never anything like this trailer, which of course I found incredibly curious because this is like the love child of a telescopic forklift and a trailer. So you're gonna spin it a little bit more. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird having some guy with a remote control at the aft of my boat looking down the underside right? while using a joystick and a hydraulic shaft to slide an 80-ton trailer underneath me. I mean, at least buy a girl a drink first. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> the benefits of having a hole in your boat. No, this scene is coming up. Well, yeah. But while this may be my first hydraulic rodeo, it's clearly not theirs. They're in the zone. Yeah, but I'm gonna be lifting on that step down if you know what I mean. Completely ignoring me and unfazed by being filmed while they whisper to one another about getting each of the hydraulic cushions in just the right spot. That's all right, boys, take your time. We've got quite the trip ahead of us. like mountains and nature and crossing the road and <laughs> so cool wow and having your house drive down the street yeah behind a tractor <laughs> never thought i'd see that huh? mm -hmm. after such an exciting show i had to look it up turns out this is a dutch made six hundred and fifty thousand dollar ruberg slipway trailer the parent company makes rides as in ferris wheels and the stuff you see at amusement parks we were told the Ruberg came about because the guy who runs the company had a buddy with a boat that needed a trailer to lift it out of the water. 
and he had the engineering and development to make it happen. Bottom paint has held up pretty well. This side is the non-sun side compared to, ah, it's kind of dark so it might be hard to see, but this side is covered in like green sludge. I'm sure if I just wipe it off, it would come off. Give it a go. I don't want to touch that crap. Oh, come oh, on. Ah. <laughs> now eat it, eat it. No hard growth anywhere, so that's pretty good. It's what, eight months old? Yeah. Everything looks good. Yeah. And that's basically two months of sitting at the marina. Yeah. And there's a lot of crap under the dock. When you look in the water, there's like long it's, it's, things. It's healthy in it's there. It's very healthy. What do you think about the props? Oh, it looks like the zincs are kind of wearing out faster than they should. But the prop, it's a different product. We couldn't get prop speed. We had to use prop glide and it looks okay. Yeah. No hard growth. And that's it, just like that. Here we are, all cleaned up and ready to go. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. The tractor with all the hydraulics on there actually made everything effortless. It felt like on our end, I thought, you know, I was all prepared to have to navigate in there and like pull up on the trailer. Nope, it was just pull up to a fuel dock, turn your engines off and that was it. The rest was all on them. So easiest haul out we've probably ever done. And now here we are and <sighs> the real work begins. As in, like, now we yeah. have to go start. Yep. Yeah. And have a look here. This is finally seeing the life raft locker from the bottom. Yep. Just sheared right off. Yep. Nice. I mean, just cleanly ripped that whole thing right off. Pardon the interruption, I need to take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor, which is the perfect opportunity for me to talk about something I have been wanting to share anyway, which is the craziness of entering a new country with a completely different culture, yet they speak the same language. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, because they have different words for things, the slang is different, the humor is slightly different, and of course the accent, but specifically the way they pronounce their vowels can really catch you off guard. That was your dick gun. What's that? Your dick, you're working on it. Pretty good. Which can make for some really awkward moments. <laughs> so one of the ways that we've been getting used to the local culture is through TV shows and movies. We found some really good ones. So if you want to get into the Kiwi culture with us, then you can check them out. One is the Breaker Uppers. And if you are into comedies, it is freaking hysterical. The next is a reality TV show called The Casketeers, which is a unique look into Maori and Pacific Island culture. And the last is just a really fantastic film called Hunt for the Wilder People. Now, these are all available on Netflix, but depending on where in the world you are, you may or may not see them. And that is because of geo restrictions. And oddly enough, even though we are in New Zealand, they don't show up for us. So I have to turn on our VPN and then voila, there they are which is where Surfshark comes in. Surfshark is an app and web browser extension that allows us to change our IP address and virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise, which means we can avoid geo restrictions on services like Venmo, get better search results when I'm shopping for supplies, or in this case, unblock content on Netflix. Plus it has a clean web feature so we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, or phishing attempts. Seriously, it is an invaluable tool for us. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get 83% off plus three extra months for free. Most importantly, if you're not sure if it's the right tool for you, no worries. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out. I will drop a link in the description box below. Okay. 
TV hasn't worked for Couple years. also a long time. No, like, we very rarely watched the TV anyway because, well, we don't have TV, but we can at least connect our computer to it. Ooh, it's dirty back there. Watch movies and whatever, but it's mm -hmm. broke and we just don't really use it, but we've been carrying it around because what the heck you can do with it? You can't dispose of it in the islands. I've been asking around and locally there is a school that apparently kind of uses electronics as part of, I don't know, they let them take them apart, maybe try to fix them, turn them into something else. I don't know, but they do take like televisions and computers and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. We're going to take it down there and donate this along with some other miscellaneous cameras and jazz. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. I'm going to open this up because we have a fiberglass repair to make where all of the navigation equipment is. So that's what we're doing now. So you can see a little bit of daylight coming through there. No bueno. All right. BR. Bottom right. Because you know. By the time you take it off, you set it somewhere, you do the work, you come back, you go to reinstall it, and you can't remember what's what. What the hell goes away? And technically, a lot of it shouldn't matter because it's all the same, but you know it always does. Yeah. Might as well. Just, you know. Just in case. Yeah. So what's the scoop? What are we doing here? We are removing these steps. Uh, yeah, I need to remove that one. We're removing the steps because we're going to remove this one window. Are we telling them everything? Yeah, tell them everything. Oh okay, yeah, everything. <laughs> so because we're in level two here, we can work on stuff, but Auckland is in level four. Cambria Plastics, the company that can fabricate our windows, is based in Auckland, so they're in level four. They can only do the windows that are cracked and damaged and causing damage to our boat because our boat is our home. So they are able to fabricate just the cracked ones. So we're gonna remove because this Because they're one. considered essential. Oh well, yeah, because they're considered essential items. Yep. So we're going to do this one and the two on the side that we removed a Already? month ago, yep. a couple weeks ago, whatever that was. <laughs> Feels like yeah. six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys here at the yard are going to come first thing in the morning to help us remove this one window. And apparently they have a really cool tool that's like pressurized. You hook it up to a thing and it's like boom or something. <laughs> we'll just wait for the Sounds demonstration. Sounds cool. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh. The Ikea tool. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> More cock. Ooh. I heard it. Nice. Wait, let's see if it comes off. Sounds like you're breaking something. <gasps> oh, okay. It's just cock. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one down, two to go. Lovely. Look at that. That is the moldy corner I can clearly Not never get to. to. Oh, yummy. Oh. One more thing. Bottom step. <laughs> Starboard side. You know they're not all the same. Nope. How's it look? Something crunched in my hand. Oh, new. It's like maybe that. Uh, bird poop or oh, seed. Seed of some sort. Oh, just gotta, you're gonna have to stop crunching in there. I'm nervous enough already. <laughs> okay, next. Oi. You had to give me like an hour. Oh, okay. I am trying to remove the screw caps. And I got one off. Now I have to do all of the rest of these and it is terrifying. Did some Googling and there's really nothing on how to remove these. It just says that they're really difficult to get off and try not to break the covers as you're taking them off. It's like once you get them on there, you're never supposed to take it off. Anything you record is going to have to be bleeped out. And of course, like, geez, what idiots decided to install these so close to each other? <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> ah. It's 
words. I don't Dude. have any. They're F you and all God, cuss words. God, I can't say anything nice. And trying to get them off without breaking them. Not only that, breaking those, like who cares about breaking those, you can buy those, but like accidentally scratching a huge gouge into that. You're right, yeah, so anyway, it's not easy, and of course it's like, it's just the edge, it's like you have to do it. It's just difficult, that's all you need to know. It's frustrating. <laughs> shall, I leave, shall I leave you alone? Hey, go away, come back when I'm done, yeah. Yeah. right on the freaking edge and if you go too far you're just pulling up on the whole piece oh Is that it? i mean it should be so easy <laughs> <laughs> we only have one hammer on this boat. How that's even possible? How we've gotten by this many years with only one hammer, I don't know. But we do only have one hammer. Don't scratch it there, Nancy. Are you sure we need to take this off? Yes, it has to come off. Why? So they can fiberglass it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Cheers. That was easy. <laughs> Sweet release. Oh, it feels so good. Making progress now. You feel better. I do. Yeah. Covers are all off. This is off. Well, not all the covers. I still have this one. <laughs> the biggest one. Okay. Progress. All right. I'm going back to mine. I got this. There she is. Looks terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's ready to be repaired. Woo! <gasps> mm, mm, mm. right. You got a friend. Yeah. Well, a couple little parts that need to be maybe repaired. Out. Yeah. Well, hey. I finished something. We you finished. finished something. Together. Woo! Yay, team. And jump cut. Oh, was that, was that did no, that work? No. Nope. <laughs> try, try again. Jump cut. <laughs>